Hey YouTube friends, welcome to another Dan Food Forest video. Alright, in this video we're going to be checking out the anonas in the food forest. You know, we have I think three different anonas. We have the, the, the regular sugar apple, the, we have the green sugar apple, we have the red sugar apple, we have the sour sap, and we have the rolinia. You know, and I think we have a custard apple. You know, I just gotta wait till when it fruit to see if it's really a custard apple. You know, yeah, we just gotta wait until it fruit to see if it's really a custard apple. Okay, it was sold to me as a custard apple. You know, so you know, let's go check all all the the unknown is looking. We're in March of 2024, Zone 9B. All right, let's go check. That. <music> All right, the first thing we're going to look at is the sour sap. Look, guys, I think the sour sap is waking up. It's like spring is here. So I'm ready to wake up and start growing. <laughs> yeah, you know, and one thing, you know, I use the sour sap leaves for teas you know very good teas there's you know i guess research done on it that you know very medicinal and stuff you know when i drink the tea it, it like make you just feel relaxed and really good really you know i enjoy the tea of the the sour sap leaves you could all research it online and you see all the benefits from from the tea of the sour sap a lot of the fruit trees though have a lot of benefits from the leaves itself but today we only we we talking about the unknown is yeah so this is a sweet sour sap and you see all the new growth this sour sap guys is a year old yeah so this year you know this year by the end of the year you know it, it's gonna be a two year old sour sap tree you know and one of the beauty about this sour sap is you know when we had a freeze they were like seedling you know and they didn't die from the freeze which i was like wow maybe i'm i'm on to something here with these seeds you know that went through the cold and i have mul multiple of these trees here yeah yeah so during the winter the leaves always look like this but the tree is perfectly fine it sheds most of its leaves you know during the winter time but look guys it's ready and you see now, these are those leaves these are gonna be new branches that's coming out and stems that's pushing out from all these new growth which i'm excited about right through and through yep so let, let me show you one more of the tree from that batch of seed lane let's walk over here and what one thing i realized the sour sap loves the rain when when we get a lot of rain the sour sap just grew like just put on a lot of growth okay you can't believe these are year old trees that's grow this much here look here guys all the new growth yep so what this tree is planted over in a like a corner like you know trying to create like a microclimate that maybe one day it will possible fruit in our zone and not 100 percent sure but I, I hear you know i read different posts and forums that people are in zone nine in orlando you know orlando is you know hour and a half north of, of us and and get the sour sap to fruit so this is over in this corner here, you know, so hopefully one day, you know, we're going to end up getting fruits from the sour. Yeah, but in the meantime, I'm enjoying the leaves, which is highly medicinal in, in, for teas. All right, let's, let's walk over here and look at another one. That's a, one from the batch of seedlings that we had. All right, guys, so there's another one here. This one is a little bit slower, you know, it's not as tall as the other two, you know, but it's also having a lot of new growth coming on it. And let me show you another one, which, you know, also grow a little bit slower over in the shaded area of the food forest, let's see. So this one is the shortest one, but this is in the most protected area. And look, the leaves stayed on this one. Leaves stayed on this 
this is the only one that still have leaves after the winter and i guess why it's over in this protected area of the food forest against the fence you know this is a mexican sunflower you know it have a another fruit tree here you know everything is just it's in this little corner it's growing slower but also putting on new growth yeah but the leaves are all on this still look look on you guys that is a good sign and that's the reason i like plant stuff different different areas of food forest just to see how it's going to function or it's going to grow in that area or productive it will be in that area you know so you see i have one over in that corner one in the middle two in the middle and this is at the end over here yeah and you could see still it meant in a lot of leaves even on the lower branches that's good that is that's exciting to see all right let's guess let's go look let's go look at the oh since we over here this is the sour sap let's look at the custard apple. It's supposed to be a custard apple yeah i'll put the name of the custard apple i don't want to you know butcher the name yeah but this is supposed to be a custard apple and this also you know winter the no boy the leaf looking like this is just oh i know as luck during the winter time yeah in our zone maybe if in the 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 you know because this is subtropics in the tropics you're probably gonna have a different looking you know leaves at this time of the year but this is also doing well over in this corner yep all the leaves are here still you know let's look at the 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 sweet sap another unknown which we got a lot of fruits from this year and this one i actually pruned i did when you know i was watching videos and i was like they were like that the unknown as you know especially the sugar apple actually fruits on new growth not old growth so what i did was to prune it yeah and the prune i did all you see all the new growth see that all the new growth are coming in see right here new growth and all the branches are prone there's new growth popping up right now and this is about the, the right time of the year we won't get another freeze or nothing like that for you know that's it you know we we'll probably just go right over into that summer type weather for the next couple months yeah so see that all the new growth are coming out so that's you know this is a sh green sugar apple that we planted from seed everything guys is from seed even the the custard apple is from seed seed so that's why i was like let's see if it become a custard apple per se you know all right let's show you some more oh let me show you i think this is also a red sugar apple and it's so funny guys i bought this is a one of the, a seedling that i bought online before i planted the other sugar apples and those sugar apples grew 10 times faster than the the, the seedling i got online yep so sometimes it's better you plant your own seed you know it grew 10 times bigger than the one i, I, I bought you know the seeds i planted grew faster kind of weird but yeah sometimes it's just how you grow how you grow your plants <laughs> yep so let's look at another sugar apple green this is a red sugar apple right here and i did prune this as well but if you look a lot of new growth coming out see that new growth if right here guys new new growth new growth it's looking good new growth everything so they're known as a doing you know great so far all right let's go look at another unknown that we have over here so this is a green sugar apple which we also prune all right just stop pushing see we prune here and stop pushing the growth here this is the only one i see oh no all of them are, okay all the branches are doing that see new growth new growth that's good new growth kind of relinias now yeah. Which the Rolinias did great for the winter. Yeah. Not much leaves fell off of the no, the, the, the Rolinia. And I think the Rolinia is supposed to be more cold sensitive than all of the other 
and I know it is, yeah, but that's not so happening right here. See right here? Look, new growth. Look, new growth. Look here, guys. New growth. And look at the size of the trunk of this Rolinia. All seed grown. Yep. Look how tall this is. This is about 15. All right, the fence is seven. So this this may be about like 15. Yep. Now hopefully we could get you know some fruits from this this year. So let's see what we get from this. All right, let's let's back off here and look at another. You know, it it it's amazing how the Rolinia didn't. You know, there was nights, a lot of nights that was in the low 40s and the Rolinia still looks good not much leaf drop or nothing but a lot of new growth look here guys all oh, this is new growth and the Rolinia yeah yep and from what I was reading to you know I think like the the sour sap and the Rolina, you don't need to prune. I haven't seen nobody prune them online. You just leave them that they grow. But the sugar apple, they say fruit and new growth. Uh, so, so, you know, you, sometimes you just try stuff, you know, and I've seen success stories online. So I was like, okay, let me try that and see. Yep. And I've seen that this was like, you know, people in different countries. You know, I saw people in Africa that was doing that. I saw people in Asia that was doing People was here in, in South America, Central America, that all pruned the sugar apples and got success. Yeah, but I didn't see nobody pruning the Rolinias or nothing like that. So, there, you know, so I have three Rolina tree here. There's one here. You know, we have this one right over here beside the bananas that just put on massive amount of growth you know look how tall it is guys you know almost as tall as the bananas and this one is right here yeah looking healthy yeah can't wait to get my own valina fruits from this and then we have you yeah, guys so let, let's look on this side this is another valina see the winter yeah, leaves the lightest, but look at the new growth. A lot of new growth here. Yeah. No pruning was done in this. This is just the natural flow, uh, everything here. Yeah, and looking good, looking good. So I'm kind of excited about, you know, everything that's about to take place here, you know, you know for this growing season. Yeah, a lot of stuff going to go in full maturity. Something going to be going into the second year third year yeah and i'm excited you know as the saying go when is the best time to plant a fruit tree right now you know over the years you gain more knowledge from you know watching you know other youtubers research you know and a wealth of knowledge is out there you know from you know say so what i learned you kind of teach you know and that's and, and then you teach from experience in your own garden stuff you tried and it work because that's all it's about to is experimenting in your own space you know because sometimes the experiment that i do may not work for you but you could try another experiment and it work for you you know i believe you, you got the back your food forest or your garden is like a big lab you know do not have no fear of just experimenting and trying stuff you know once it's in a holistic organic kind of way of doing it you know just 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 try it you know you can't you can't go wrong you know and that's what i do here is plant fruit trees different location of the food forest you know move stuff around prune just different stuff and see the experience i gain from it and then that knowledge that i gain i share with you guys all right so thank you so much for watching i'll be blessed with peace love happiness and kindness one love i appreciate you guys so much for subscribing commenting you know and just giving me all that love out there i thank you so much all right see you in the next video